Hello everyone, welcome back to the Jupyter Notebook Visual Studio Code tutorial session. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the few things which are important for the beginner perspective. And if you are working with a Jupyter Notebook, you must know and these things will assist you while working on the very uh, lengthy project of the Jupyter Notebook. So first one is table of contents. I will explain you what I'm talking about the table of com contents and how this is useful. The second thing is how to check the variable explorer and how we can see data viewer. After that, we will see we have the facility to filtering the rows as well. And the fourth point is saving the plots like you are working on the plots and you have just uh, executed the code and the plot is generated now you want to save these plots so I will show you how you can save it so these four points are very useful so we are going to cover these things here so first going to uh, start with table of contents let me show you this is the visual studio code and here we have one IPYNB file in which we have these three cells code cell and we have some code Suppose in case you have a very lengthy Jupyter notebook file and there are hundreds of cell and lots of code written on it. But one problem is there. If you want to jump to the first code cell to 15th code cell, then you have to scroll. You have to use the mouse. You have to scroll a lot. But sometime this not the good idea to scroll a lot while working on your project to save the time we have a feature on the left hand side here's the outline section in the explorer tab but nothing is present here so what will happen once we activate it so you will get the reference link or the table of contents kind of thing uh, of your code cells also you can uh, give the name with the name that you have given to your code cell so you can identify with that okay and you can simply uh, use the table of content and jump to any code cell let me show you how you can activate it so first thing you have to do go here on this gear icon click on it and then go to the settings just click on it After that, you can see this tab, settings tab will appear and at this place you have to type the simple thing, show code cell. Once you type it, you will see some results and our target one is the second one, notebook outline colon show code cell. So this is the checkbox once you checked it. So how many uh, code cells are there that will be display here in the outline so you will get the links of those code cells okay one by one and once you get the list of those code cells here on the outline you can simply click on the code cell and then you will be jumped to the that code cell in the editor okay let me show you so we have just clicked on and now you can see the outline we are see some entries here so you can see the first code cell this time this is referring the first line of the code and created the links for you this is the quick links to jump to the code cell okay and this is the one of the way but we can uh, create more readability in some cases you have the same uh, lines of code so this will be very difficult to differentiate if we are not giving a, any useful name to this link for this purpose what we need to do we have to come here just click on the markdown so we need to create a one markdown cell so this is the way go here on the, these three dot insert cell click insert markdown cell above and once the markdown cell is up here you need to type the text means you can give a reference name or a comment so you can easily identify with this name so I have given just a name like this and just clicked on that checkbox so you will get this bullet heading here so this will increase the readability 
and on which part you are working on so you can give the name like this so suppose i have the second code cell in which i have uh, uh, written the code for the mat plot live and creating the sine x plot so i um, want to give the name this way hash my sine plot once you click okay so this will appear as well as on the left hand side you can see here in the outline you have this text so this is increasing the readability here and this is the very significant links so the code cell which is reflecting the purpose by its name and you can simply click on the name and you will be jumped to the that code cell so this is quite easy way to use the outline and uh, in my point of view this is more useful and guys moving the next thing so we have the facility of the variable explorer data viewer also in the data viewer we have the facility to filter the rows so if we are working with the uh, jupyter notebook like uh, in the visual studio code so it's possible to view inspect sort and filter the variables within the current jupyter session so you have created so many uh, code cells here in uh, one jupyter notebook and then you have to execute and you have the facility to check through the variable explorer you have the facility of the data viewer and we can do a lot of things let me show you here so suppose this is uh, one of the uh, ipynb file and uh, we have these three uh, code cell present here now what exactly we have to do we need to first check variable explorer so you have to execute your code cell so suppose you have executed any one code cell so the results appear and then what you have to do to check go to the top and here's the option to click just click on it and soon you will see the jupyter variables tab enabled and showing the variables here so here is the facility to see variable okay uh, if you have executed the all code cells at once so you will see all the variables present here now we will see how to see the data viewer and how we can see the data okay so we have the facility to see the data as well now i'm executing the second uh, code cell which is creating the another plot and now i will click again on this variable because i have executed two code cell and together we will get all the variables here in this variable tab if you want to see the data so you have two way you can simply double click on it and uh, then you will see this message python package pandas version 0.20 is required uh, to load the data viewer you need to install this package so click on the install i'm not sure how many of you guys will uh, get this uh, message of the installation but uh, if you are doing it first time in the visual studio code definitely you will get this and soon uh, because uh, this is downloading the uh, pandas package from the uh, internet and this will be installed quickly and as soon as this will finish the task we will see the data on the data viewer tab on the top so we have to wait for uh, some time once done uh, unfortunately we got one uh, error message on the right corner failed to create the data viewers so don't worry about that uh, installation is done after the after the installation we need to restart the visual studio code so just exit the visual studio code and relaunch your visual studio code i'm sure uh, 99% this will fix that issue so we are loading the uh, visual studio code again and uh, we are waiting for uh, the loading of our jupyter notebook and right now it is loaded and uh, i'm just going to do the double click here and you can see data viewer loaded with the data 
also right now we are able to see one column but in case if you have a data with the multiple columns so you will see the filters for each column this way so just click here and you want to filter the data right now we have the just numbers here but in your case this may be the string or this may be any other data so you can simply type the relevant search keyword here and you can just filter out and just find out the data okay so if you have a multiple columns you will get the uh, filters on each data like this you can see the image this is for the reference but right now we have a different kind of data so we are not able to see uh, the multiple filters so i have just clicked on the uh, lengthy data so this way you can filter out just type the filter data that you want just type so you will get the result also you can apply the regular expression to search the data this is just an example but in the practical way you have thousands of lines thousands of rows in that case if you want to search the particular name that appearing more than once so you simply just type that name here in the filter and you will get those instances those multiple rows and you can proceed your analysis further so this filter is useful in data viewer tab i hope you are getting this uh, concept also you can see i have executed all the uh, code cells so we are able to see all variables here in this variable tab now as you can see we have these uh, three different variables so if you executed the one uh, code cell so you will be able to see the variable of one code cell if you have executed all the code cells at once then you will see all the variables here in this variable explorer so you can see the str and bins the different variables are appearing here with the data the name and type and the size so we have the variable explorer to identify what we have taken in the code section so all variables present here and if you want to view the data uh, detailed data so you can use the data viewer for that just do the double click or simply click on this uh, quick link okay now going to the notepad if you are working with the plots and you have generated the plots then uh, you can save these plots as well so this is very simple uh, after executing the code your plot will appear just below your code and go to the right hand side you have these three small buttons if you click on the middle button that will uh, load your plots in the separate tab in a dedicated tab okay and if you want to copy this clipboard so you can just copy it and take it to the uh, 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 different editor and if you want to directly save just click on the uh, this uh, floppy icon and uh, save it as a .png file so once you click on the save plot image that will be saved on your disk same way you have options for each plot and this is convenient to save uh, through this save button so guys we have seen uh, these three things uh, table of contents variable explorer data viewer with filters and a saving of plots in the visual studio code uh, I hope uh, you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more. And that's all for this uh, video tutorial session. And uh, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.